guys, welcome back to the shop today. Wooden hand planes have become a main part in my workshop. When I first got wooden planes, all I would really do to restore them is soak them in boiled linseed oil, clean up the iron, and just go with it. None of the patina or they wouldn't get cleaned off, all the little green paint specks would always be on them and everything like that. As of lately, I've taken it a step further for restoring my wooden hand planes and I really wanted to start cleaning them up, not taking away all of the history of them, but cleaning them up so they looked like they were newer, didn't have any gunk or grime or any of those paint specks on them. So today I'm gonna go over with my process of how I clean my wooden planes now. Some of the things that you're gonna need is a measuring cup, a glass jar, I just keep these little salsa jars because they're really good, shallow, and they got the lid some scrubbing pads or four all steel wool, some turpentine, and some boiled linseed oil. Right now we're gonna go ahead and start with the mixture that we're gonna be using for cleaning the, the wooden planes. And so right now we're gonna need that glass jar, your turpentine, and your boiled linseed oil. Now as you can tell, I always make small batches of this. So what I do is I fill the measuring cup up first to three quarters of a cup with the turpentine and then I'll add that to the jar then I'll go ahead and grab the boiled linseed oil and then I will fill this up to one and a half cups Now I'll go ahead and pour the boiled linseed oil into that and as you can see it's overfilling that so I'll pour it all back into the measuring cup and I have a separate jar as well so I'll mix it up here in the measuring cup to begin with before I put it into the jars. Now that we've gotten it all mixed up I'm going to go ahead and pour it into the jar Fill it as much up as possible. We'll set that measuring cup to the side. I'm going to use that what's left in the measuring cup for cleaning of these two planes. But then I always wipe off the outside of the jar. And it's the, very important to always label this. You don't want somebody coming into your shop for some reason. I don't know why they would think this was salsa, but you don't want them to come in here and grab it or try to use it for something else and it ruin whatever they're working on. So I always make sure to label anything that I change a product in. And I also have wax in these jars. So now you can see I have it all labeled and then nobody will get this mixed up. Or if this was just spare boiled linseed oil, you'll know that this is actually a mixture of the two and this is for the plain cleaning. So let's go ahead and see how well this works. So for this demonstration, I picked two planes that I have that need to be completely redone and they haven't really been worked on at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and Tap the iron out. Put that to the side and then I'll pop this one out as well. What I'll be doing is using the green pad. I favor the green pad over the uh, the steel wool just because this is a little bit softer to me and it doesn't leave the fine little steel markings in there. So now you can go ahead and wear gloves if you want to. I'm not going to and I just soak up the, the mixture on the pad and I just start rubbing it in. And if there's really, really dark spots that are worn or really dirty, greasy, grimy, or anything like that, you can work on those a little bit extra. And with the boiled linseed oil, it helps seep in and saturate into the wood. 
and the turpentine really helps clean it up. So this is like a really dark spot right here in the front. And I'll just go ahead and scrub on that a little bit. And I can really start seeing the grain coming back through the wood. I've actually found a couple maker's marks on some planes that I didn't know were there before just because of how dirty they were. Now I've gone over the entire, I've actually switched back and forth between the green scrubbing or the scotch bright pad and the steel wool and the steel wool works really well in some of the harder spots and especially here in the corners and now what I'm doing is just going over with a old t-shirt and cleaning up all of the wetness that you see and right here on the front that really cleaned up that got really clean it was like a blackish color and the maker's mark stands out a lot better you can see it's number 37 now i didn't see that before this is by this is an ohio tools hand plane had a uh, red specks of paint i can still see some right here on the top so I can just go over with the steel wool and try to scrub the rest of those off. Usually it's green specks of paint that show up on planes for some reason. Green or white. But let me see if that's cleaned off now. So not to really waste much of the mixture stuff, I went ahead and finished cleaning up this beading plane. I showed you guys this one and I also finished up this plane right here. This one right here was very dark. I didn't know it had any maker's mark or anything on here. And then I found out that it had one on the front for A. Howland and Company in New York. And this is a number 24. I believe this is the Halloween plane. So this was... A surprise I didn't realize it had a maker's mark on it when I first got it I thought it was just somebody's that they made from like at their house a regular woodworker just made it and then it got thrown into the loop of eBay and so I was surprised this was very dark it cleaned up very well so I'm about to be moving on to sharpening up all the irons and when I went to go do so I went as I was cleaning this one found out that this was missing some of its boxing so I'm gonna skip on this one I'm just gonna put this one back and over the time I'm gonna go ahead and work on doing the boxing and if you guys don't know the boxing is this material right here so that is that and now after I get all the iron sharpened I will go ahead and apply some of this wax mixture that I've made and I will show you guys that in an upcoming video and this one all you got to do is it's just like that and all you guys got to do is use your fingers slide it on and then uh, after a couple minutes just wipe it off buff it off and it leaves it very clean and shiny protects it so there we have it all these planes have been cleaned i did go ahead and put wax on them i wanted to put them together though real quick so i could take a couple pictures and then i'll take them back apart sharpen them up except for the one that's missing the boxing i'll go ahead and put that one back over here real quick So that one's back home. So I appreciate you guys stopping by today. If you guys enjoyed the video, found this very helpful, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and share it around. If you guys have any other tips or suggestions or mixtures that you guys use to clean your hand planes, leave them in the comments below so that other people can see and we can share them all around. I will go ahead, if I see a new one, I'll share it on Facebook or Twitter or something like that so I can get out in the world. And I might even try it as well. If you guys enjoy my videos, please consider helping support the channel even more and help it grow by going over to patreon.com and becoming a patron. There's all sorts of little goodies that you guys can get out of it as well as I'm going to start posting more little blogs and updates and little tips here and there throughout the week. Go ahead and swing over there if you guys want to and help support the channel even more. As always, I appreciate you guys stopping by, viewing the video, and leaving comments, thumbs ups, everything's like that. And I appreciate it and I will see you guys on the next one.